Morning everybody. Every family wishes to have a free crime neighborhood, quality food, and the best entertainment there is. Basically, just have a perfect life in a perfect place. Now, gentrification makes all of this possible, but what does it cost and who pays for it? The process of gentrification needs to be stopped or changed because it causes displacement of low-income African Americans and it is also racist. It is sad to see that people are overlooking the problems that gentrification cause. Gentrification is the pattern of wealthier residents moving into a poorer neighborhood in efficient numbers to transform its social identity. In other words, gentrification is when wealthy white class move to, displaces the majority of low-income African Americans in a neighborhood that's bad. And now the neighborhood will increase its tax base and uh, everything around it will increase. For example, the rent will be will be very, very high, very expensive. Gentrification started in the 1970s. The two main causes were as follows. The restructuring of economy provides high paying jobs for professional workers who need places to live. For example, lawyers or bankers. The second cause. Cheap real estate surrounding older central bank, bank central business districts provides opportunities for developers to make huge amount of profit. The first problem that gentrification causes is that it targets hood areas where only poor and educated people of color live. Now, the family that stays in a gentrifying neighborhood will face racism. According to the Western Journal of Black Studies in North Nashville, Tennessee, an African woman was in a grocery store buying things. When a white man walked in, the worker immediately went to attend him. When the girl, when the African American woman asked her why she did that, the worker responded by saying that he was there first and she needed to attend him. Now that is unfair treatment. That type of reason leads to indirect displacement. Other reasons that lead to indirect displacement of African Americans is that People don't share the same values, culture, same beliefs, same music. Another one. They get harassed by their landlords, increasing their rent, not giving hot water, just basically nagging them. And the third reason is, the main reason that indirect placement occurs is because financial reasons. They can no longer afford the rent. The second problem that gentrification causes is direct displacement. It occurs when low income, families immediately have to move out the place. That will basically result in them moving into a more poor and more violent neighborhood. Education for their children will suffer a lot because the schools don't have that many resources. And the bad influences will lead to doing drugs, dropping out of school, or getting pregnant. Since an indirect displacement also, also harms the environment because because uh, the commute is longer and now there's no pollution in the air. The third problem is that the few percent of wealthy African Americans or Hispanics that can actually afford a house in a gentrified neighborhood can no longer, will no longer be able to get a house because of due to housing discrimination. A study done by the HMDA found out that 80% of Blacks and Hispanics were turned down for house loans than white applicants that have similar economic levels. Now that is unfair treatment. How to stop or change the process of gentrification? People in gentrifying neighborhoods are forming alliances, going in the street, protesting gentrification against, against gentrification and against developers saying that public housing cannot be built here. Another way is that to propose a new zoning loan, zoning plan in the neighborhood that will, that will do two things. The first thing, it will protect and preserve housing that cannot be destroyed anymore. The second one, it will protect small ethnic businesses that helps a neighborhood keep its identity. Now, another reason, another way to stop or change the process of gentrification is that the government could strengthen laws and also get rid of landlords who are harassing the people. Tenants. Now, I want everyone here to find out who's your representative in your community, attend the board meeting, find out what's going on, 
And if gentrification is ever to come in your neighborhood, or it's there now, make sure you gather around friends, family, school, a lot of people, and to vote on the local level, because the more votes you have, the more power and control you have in your neighborhood.